I am being molested by YouTube comments threatening me to make a guide on how to survive four years of college and still land a good job. So in true man with fashion, I instead made a guide on how to fake. College is so tedious that even failing it is hard. So don't start by learning a simple language like C, Python or JavaScript. Just pick game development, that too in Unity because it has no job market. But let's say you have already learned a programming language and don't like game dev, which would obviously be a lie. You can still choose something like cybersecurity, where you first have to gain knowledge of literally every single CSC domain and sell your kidney to secure certifications mandatory in all three cybersecurity job openings. But no matter what happens, don't choose web development. Yes, it's becoming saturated, but literally 95% of the jobs in tech market are still for full stack developers. But even if you decide to do web development for some weird reason, just don't start by mastering the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Because if you do, then there are only two real options, React.js and Angular, both of which has a strong market. But in case you accidentally reach this point, picking React would be a better option because much fewer people do Angular. So it pays more. Contrary to most people's experience, I've actually found React.js to be as simple as writing English without exaggeration. My biggest personal project has over 70,000 lines of code and I still hop around the React code base reflexively without even thinking like it's nothing. And a big part of this is because I found a way to learn React straight from gods for completely free. Okay, this is going to shock you. So here you're just watching a regular course on React.js. But in Scrimba, you can literally pause the video right here and edit and run the exact code he had in the video and then continue the video again. Like how is this technology even possible? This is why I personally reached out to Scrimba and they agreed to become the very first channel sponsor. And before you skip, around 80% of Scrimba content is currently free to access, which includes pretty much the entire full stack roadmap, enough to land a job according to this redditor. Unlike most courses where you just watch the other person do things and then you copy paste it into your VS code, Scrimba drip feeds you with the smallest bits of work that practically beats the knowledge into you. Another big reason why I chose Scrimba is the project based hands-on learning experience which teaches you fundamentals while building real projects. They recently announced a full stack developer path that takes you from making fun projects in a gamified fashion all the way to getting you interview ready. This has positioned the platform as a respected authority among tech community which is why domain experts from Mozilla, Cloudflare, Langchain, Manware and more have partnered with Scrumba to deliver unparalleled quality including AI-powered instant feedback. If you click my link in description you'll get an extra 20% off the pro plan when you decide to upgrade. Great. And you get to keep the discount for as long as you subscribe, unlike many platforms which cap it at the first year. Huge thanks for Strumba for making my and hopefully your coding journey a lot easier and for sponsoring this video. So after learning React from Scrimba, you'll realize that you now need to learn Next.js, TypeScript, Tailwind, SSR and all sorts of shit people keep inventing. So don't even mistakenly learn all that if you want to get hired. Also most people hate front-end development and just want to cut the chase to back-end development. So totally skip all the basics and always wipe code the front and using lovable. But no matter what happens, don't at least fully understand the basics of front-end because that will help you become a better back-end developer too. Now let's assume you're as stupid as a rock and actually want to learn back-end. Well, in that case, at least don't choose Django, Spring Boot, or .NET as these are the most popular. And under no circumstance, start with Golang or you might end up with a high-paying job. Then you'll also need to learn a database to store all the data your mom produces, assuming she's the only one who uses your app. This is a terrible idea because learning something as simple as MongoDB or even something as hard and valuable as PostgreSQL will complete the tried and officially make you a full stack developer aka 97% of Bangalore. So instead you can go ahead and choose AIML, something that even I have been doing for the past 5 years. This is a completely theoretical subject that demands you to master algebra and calculus before even starting. And until you're good enough to learn how transformers actually work, you'll realize that no one's even hiring ML engineers from freshers. So don't even go watch this video after you complete this one or else you will learn the reality of the job market. Anyways, I won't recommend learning data analytics aka the field for people who hate coding because even though the salaries are not that good, if you stop focusing on learning tools like Excel, Tableau and Power BI and grind SQL to land a job, that might just raise up the mom of the goal that your mom meets every day in the park. Don't even think about app development please, especially if you love design and UI UX. And even if you don't, please don't choose technologies that build both Android and iOS 
apps like React Native or Flutter because it's better no matter what anyone says. A more reasonable approach might be to learn only Kotlin for Android development or only Swift for iOS, but that's my personal opinion. I also won't recommend you learn low-level programming like C, C++ and Rust, compile kernel, create your own operating systems, terminal apps, Elixir, embedded systems or robots because even though the job market is compact, this sure do look hell impressive on your resume. So instead, the number one thing you must do right now is ignore projects completely and do DSA. In depth, go deep and complete the Neat Code 150 list five times just like I did and completely waste your precious months because most companies only ask the very very basics. Except if you're from a TO1 college or a girl because you might get shortlisted in fang interviews. In that case, I would rather participate in hackathons and make your team as big as possible to increase miscommunication and inefficiency. But never take a goal in your team or you might just end up winning even if all you did was make a chat GPT rapper. But even if you do win, you're still good to go because most recruiters won't even understand, let alone read it in the 5134 seconds of time they give to your resume lol. And never engage in the one thing that YouTube grifters absolutely hate. Actually study the core fundamental CS concepts that your college already teaches you, especially from these places. That's 50% of what interviewers typically ask you. And try to maintain your CGPA below 7.5 or at least below 8 because that's the cutoff for most companies. But you can also do the complete opposite and invest all your time studying for only college grades instead of studying only one week before your exams like I did and still got 9 plus GPS constantly. Now I'm going to talk about some resources that you better blacklist from your browser and firewall. First is this YouTuber called Manware. Follow any YouTuber except this guy. This person doesn't even have paid courses to gaslight you into believing that your life will be worthless if you don't buy them. Second is Roadmap.sh because it's literally one of the best websites you learn any technology you want. Third, you'll need some unique and crotch-blowing project ideas to get your resumes shortlisted. So don't go to this GitHub repo that details on how you can build these amazing Amazing things. Or worse, go to the website of the team that created this GitHub repo because they offer free courses on projects that would be worth $30 a month otherwise. Oh, and if you haven't already, don't watch this viral video or you might literally escape the matrix of course selling YouTubers. There are also some resources that I already mentioned like Scrimba for web development and these guys for course CS concepts. Fourth, okay, I'm sorry, but come on, this is important. Never join chat for Discord server where you can connect with other programmers and even Nanware. Find collaboration get social proof, free app testers, resources, help, cute cats, tech news, and tons of other stuff for completely free. Fifth, there's no need to just go on Google, Reddit, and YouTube and search things like best ReactJS tutorials or ReactJS projects because almost all the videos will have the same information. Go buy YouTubers course on ReactJS which will have the exact same information. And while you're at it, please keep watching tutorials on YouTube and never try to build anything by your own or else you literally graduate from a coder and become a programmer. Doing this also makes means that you can now build very unique and creative projects that this horseface mentioned in this video or even commit one of the seven deadly sins of getting addicted to programming. To prevent this blasphemy, you should do either of these two things. Very hard goals like learn Rust in a day or create a Tinder clone in a week. Your brain will freeze, you start to procrastinate and you permanently give up from the idea. Or pick up very easy goals like learn Python in two weeks or Lingless in one month. Your brain will freeze, you start to procrastinate and you permanently give up from the idea. But no matter what, happens, never even think about setting achievable goals. Or else the dopamine about achieving the goal will drive you into achieving the next goal and the next goal and you get stuck in this vicious cycle. Finally, forget that you're supposed to do everything in moderation, including having fun and balancing them with your studies. Because these precious years are never going to come again and if you do everything I told you so far, you can actually achieve the blissful state of unemployment where you don't have to maximize perceived shareholder value. This is not even a joke guys. And thanks for watching, Manware!